Good morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer with Resurrection Lutheran Corporate Ministry on this Friday morning. Um, it's just a great way to start our day, so let us begin. O Lord, open my lips, my and my God, mouth shall declare your praise. praise. Glory, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit. as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Uh, oh, the Lord is near to those who call on him. O oh, come, let us worship him. O oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O oh, come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is near to those who call on him. O come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is Psalm 22. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me, and are so far from my cry, and from my words of my distress? O oh my God, I cry in the daytime, but you do not answer. By night as well, but I find no rest. Yet you are the Holy One, enthroned upon the praises of Israel. Our forefathers put their trust in you. They trusted, and you delivered them. They cried out to you, and you delivered. They trusted in you, and were not put to shame. But as for me, I am a worm and no man, scorned by all and despised by the people. All who see me laugh me to scorn. They curl their lips and wag their heads, saying, He trusted in the Lord. Let him deliver him. Let him rescue him, if he delights in him. Yet you are he who took me out of the womb and kept me safe upon my mother's breast. I have entrusted to you ever since I was born. You are my God when I was still in my mother's womb. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, and there is none to help. Many young bulls encircle me, strong bulls of Basham surround me. They open their wide their jaws at me, like a ravering and roaring lion. I am, I am poured out like water, all my bones are out of joint. My heart within my breast is melting wax, my mouth is dried out like a potsherd. My tongue sticks to the roof of my mouth, and you have laid me in the dust of the grave. Packs of dogs close me in, and gangs of evildoers encircle around me. They pierce my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. They stare and gloat over me. They divide my garments among them. They cast lots for my clothing. Be not far away, O Lord. You are my strength. Hasten to help me. Save me from the sword, my life from the power of the dogs. Save me from the lion's mouth, my wretched body from the horns of the wild bulls. I will declare your name to my brethren. In the midst of the congregation, I will praise you. Praise the Lord, you that fear him. Stand in awe of him, O offspring of Israel. All you of Jacob's line give glory. For he does not despise nor abhor the poor in their poverty. Neither does he hide his face from them. But when they cry to him, he hears them. My praise is of him in the great assembly. I will perform my vows in his presence of those who worship him. The poor shall eat and be satisfied, and those who seek the Lord shall praise him. May, may your heart live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord, and all the families of the nations shall bow before him. For kingship belongs to the Lord. He rules over the nations. To him alone all who sleep in the earth bow down and worship. All who go down to the dust fall before him. My soul shall live for him. My descendants shall serve him. They shall be known as the Lord's forever. They shall come and make known to a people yet unborn the saving deeds that he has done. Let us pray. Father, when your son was handed over to torture and felt abandoned by you, he cried out from the cross. Then death was destroyed and life was, was restored. By his death and resurrection, save the poor, lift up the downtrodden, break the chains of the oppressed, that your church may sing your praises through your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Well, on this Friday, our reading comes from Deuteronomy, the seventh chapter, beginning with verse 12. 
And because you hearken to these ordinances and keep and do them, the Lord your God will keep you uh, keep with you the covenant and steadfast love which he swore to our to your fathers to keep. He will love you, bless you, and multiply you. He will also bless the fruit of your body and the fruit of your ground, your grain and your wine and your oil, the increase of your cattle and the young of your flock in the land which he swore to your fathers to give you. You shall be blessed above all people. There shall not be male or female barren among you or among your cattle. And the Lord will take away from you all sickness and none of the evil diseases of Egypt, which you knew, will be inflicted upon you. But he will lay up them upon all who hate him. And you shall destroy all the peoples that the Lord your God will give over to you. Your eyes shall not pity them, neither shall you serve their gods, for that would be a snare to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our second reading comes from Titus, the second chapter, beginning with verse 1. But as for you, teach what benefit, what befits sound doctrine. Bid the older men to temperate, serious, sensible, sound in faith, in love, and in steadfastness. Bid the older women likewise to be reverent in behavior, not to be slanderers or slaves to drink, that they are to teach what is good, And so train the young women to love their husbands and children, to be sensible, chaste, domestic, kind, and submissive to their husbands, that the word of God may not be discredited. Likewise, urge the young men to control themselves. Show yourself in all respects a model of good deeds, and in your teaching show integrity, gravity, and sound speech that cannot be censored, so that an opponent may be put to shame, having nothing evil to say of us. Bid slaves to be submissive to their masters and to give satisfaction in every respect. They are not to be refractory nor to pilfer, but to show entire and true fidelity so that in everything they may abandon the doctrine of God our Savior. So for the grace of God has appeared for the salvation of all men, training us to renounce irreligion and worldly possessions and to live sober, upright, and godly lives in the world, awaiting our blessed hope, the appearance, uh, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to redeem us from all iniquity, and to purify for himself a people of his own who are zealous for good deeds. Declare these things, exhort and reprove with all authority. Let no one disregard you. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But now now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son. Let justice roll down like water and righteousness like an overflowing stream. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to repair his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Let justice roll down like water and righteousness like an overflowing stream. Let us pray. Lord, with your loving care, guide the penance we have begun. Help us to persevere with love and sincerity. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. O Lord, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining Tom and I on this Friday in this uh, first uh, week of Lent. Um, please be safe. Uh, God bless you. Pastor Matthew will be on this evening with the evening prayer. And I hope to see you tomorrow morning. Take care. Bye-bye.